Welcome to the Big Gardener video on crosscut testing. Here we will show you how to use the Big Gardener crosscut tester. In addition, we will demonstrate how to do crosscut tests on some unusual samples. The samples we'll be measuring today are drum plugs for 55 gallon drums. These are coated and we want to determine whether the coating is adhering properly to these drum plugs and so we're going to set up a test to measure those. Your Big Gardener crosscut testing kit consists of a crosscut test handle with a special blade in this case we're using a one millimeter spacing six cut blade, a set of magnifiers that help us check out the cut after we've completed the cut, and a brush to brush off the cut area. The normal way of using a cross cut tester is to press it on the surface that we want to cut and draw it, press heavily down to make sure we cut through the coating and, and pull it in two directions, 90 degrees apart. If we do that on this small drum plug, you can see it'd be very difficult to hold the plug, force a good cut without a danger of cutting your fingers or uh, slipping off and getting a poor cut. In order to perform this test, on these drum plugs. I've made a special plate. This is a quarter inch aluminum plate simply with two threaded holes that match the threads on the drum plug. So now I can thread the plugs into the plate. We'll only work with the large one at this point. And now I have a much larger surface where I can hold the plate draw my cut my cutter across rotate it 90 degrees and draw the cutter again without danger of cutting my fingers or slicing up the tabletop before we start making the actual cuts let's like take a closer look at the cutter the crosscut tester has a handle that holds a blade the blade holder portion swivels slightly to automatically align the cutter blades with the surface that you're cutting. As you can see, there are several blades. The end blades on either end are guides to help make sure that you have a good contact with your surface that you're cutting because the six blades in the middle are doing the actual cutting. We're going to make one cut all the way through the uh, coating to the s substrate in one quick motion. Then we're going to rotate our sample 90 degrees and make another cut hence the cross cut action. So here's our sample mounted into our block. I'm going to turn this slightly so we get a good, good view. I'm going to place the cutter on the surface and in just not a jerking motion but a smooth pull I'm going to press down on the handle and cut through to through to the substrate. Now you can see that there's a series of cuts that go clean through to the surface. Now I turn it 90 degrees, press the cutter, press down hard, do another cut. Now you can see that I have cut through the material completely. 
Now that I've made my cut, I can take my LA-26 tape and according to both ASTM and ISO methods, I'm going to unroll two strips of the tape. And then pull off, without jerking, a length of tape sufficient for my test. And then apply it to the surface of my test piece. I'm going to rub it in with my fingernail to get good adhesion to the tape. Now, we're going to pull the tape off at an angle, 60 degree angle according to the ISO specification, 180 degrees if you're using the STM specification. We're going to pull it off without jerking, but we need to pull it off with one to two seconds, within one to two seconds. And as you can see from that picture, our cross-cut test doesn't show any lifting of coating in the corners. So we're getting a very good adhesion of our coating on this particular test piece. For our next test, we're going to test the small drum plug. We line the part in, pull the cutter across, and then rotate it 90 degrees, press down, pull the cutter across. So with a little bit of practice, we should be able to get a good cut. If you need to inspect the scratches closely, we can use the magnifier included in the cross-cut test and observe the cross in detail. To interpret the test, you can use the ASTM method can use either the ASTM method or the ISO method. You may also find a quick reference in your Big Gardner catalog on the 2010-2011 catalog, page 134, you will find a quick and easy color reference of the different classes of failure.